systemic. It's going on over, it's going on all over the country. You know what I'm saying? So, Protest, man. It's getting a little live. But the main thing we need to do in the wake of all this, man, is really, really come together with our money, man. You know, we can't let our differences. I don't know if y'all can that going on back there, but we can we can really let our differences keep us divided. Because that's what's killing us, man. It don't matter we Christian, Muslim. Gay, straight, it really don't matter. Cause when they see it, they see black. You know what I'm saying? And it's, and it's, and it's I'm about to burn in that sage, it's smelling good. <laughs> that keep that positive energy right. You're right. So what's going on, man? It's, it's, it's really killing. It's sad what happened, but we shouldn't be surprised by the grand jury's verdict because we knew that was going to happen, man. They don't bring tanks and, and national guard out for nothing. They were telling us the whole time. Like I said before, man. Mike Brown's crime was disrespecting a police officer, or disrespecting the system. You know, they don't see no value in our lives. We have to see value in our own lives first, but they don't care. You know what I'm saying? We can't let this discourage us from doing it. Because like I said before, movements, movements never start from the top. They always start from the bottom. From the people that fed up the oppressed, people who can't take no more. The movements always start from there. They're organic, grassroots. So, they gotta start from us, man. We say we tired of this going on. We really gotta stand up and fight, man. You can't fight if you don't fight. You can't just give up. But we need new ways and new strategies. You know what I'm saying? What worked in the civil rights era, they worked for them. You know, they did things, they were masters at mastering the times of that time. What was going on during that time? And we have to do the same thing. We got to master what's going on during our time today. And most of the folks back then were young dudes, man. Young cats out there grinding, out there getting it. The older folks provided wisdom. It was, it, was, it was a young cat that really had the footwork. Really the footwork out there, man. You know? So we got we to gotta, we gotta wake up. It's, it's, it's systematic racism going on, white supremacy. A lot of people say we're in a post-racial era. We are not. I think it's a little worse than it's ever been, you know? And it's across the country, it's really across the world. It's really across the world, man, but it's sad what's going on, man. It's, it's, it's no respect, you know? It's just no, no respect for our lives, man. We all we to stand up and fight together, though. That's the thing. A lot of us are scared. They don't want to ruffle no feathers. We don't lose no money. But we ain't getting no money anyway. We, I mean, we got a lot of money collectively, but we're not using it right. We gotta speak with our dollars. That's the only thing that matters right now. And I hope a lot of y'all don't watch that Black Friday just ball out y'all money, man. That's that's a slap in the face to your own people. But that stuff ain't gonna last anyway. We can take all that money that we use for Black Friday and Christmas and put it toward our schools. I said it so many times before that the money we spend on Christmas alone can put every black child through school for free. Just on Christmas, just black dollars on Christmas. Every black child school for free. That's the power we got. But we don't want to do that. And stuff like this, how this protest, this is cool to get people involved, to get people listening, wake people up. But we gotta go beyond the protest, we gotta go beyond the marches. Because we gotta really We gotta go beyond that man, really, really do something, man. Because they don't care nothing about that. All that peaceful protesting, they getting live on that. They don't care about that. They don't. The United States don't protest peacefully. They they, they 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 killing us unpeacefully. You know what I'm saying? The young the young, young brother that died in um, Ohio. They say he wasn't even waving the little, the little BB gun. He wasn't waving at the police. They shot him. Brother in New York. The rookie cop. He got scared in the stairwell. Shot him. Unarmed. The list goes on and on, man. No Black Friday. That's right. Let's see if I can see this. Right? Please use your dollars wisely, man. We gotta do this collectively. One or two people ain't gonna work. You know, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta do it together, man. We gotta stand up. We gotta, we gotta 
get some, we gotta start thinking and strategizing and showing the people how we really wanna be treated, man. You know, I don't wanna give you ride, a ride scene in Luton in St. Louis, but I ain't mad at her, man. I mean, I don't want you to probably lose your own, your own businesses now. I don't want to take no black businesses, but people fed up, man. And they didn't start that ride in Luton until the police did what they did, man. I mean, you know, everybody got their opinion on that. But the bigger picture is that we've been systematically gunned down and it's become a normalized. The, the propaganda, the putting black people on TV, making them look like criminals. And so when they get shot, they can say it was justified because he deserved to die. She deserved to die. You know, it's crazy, man. I believe, I strongly believe that hip hop is gonna be, they may be the forefront in the next movement in the coming in the coming days, coming years, because people, the youth, they respond to hip hop artists, good or bad, positive or negative, no matter you wanna be, no matter how you wanna see it, they respond to the hip hop artists more than they respond to anything else on this earth. They like to cut out. More than said anything on this earth. So that's how it's gonna be, man. It's gonna, it's gonna go, it's gonna go down like that. And we really gotta, really gotta step up, man. The, the, the hip hop is really what's, what's gonna move this thing forward. I was at Warhouse a few weeks ago. Ludacris and I believe John Lewis was there. And they were talking to a group of young men around the ages of between middle school and high school, All right? And um, those young men spun more to Ludacris than he did John Lewis. I believe it was John Lewis, I could be wrong on that, but it was somebody of that stature. He was an old civil rights, old civil rights guy, veteran. They responded, they responded more to that, to Ludacris, than they did to him. And Ludacris, he wasn't really saying that super profound, but he had the attention. He could have told them it was raining down apples at one o'clock, they would have been out there waiting. That's the power that hip hop has, man, and hip hop, you know, it has a negative side, but we gotta start looking at it as so negative, man, because hip hop has changed this world, man. You know, we gotta, we gotta rather than demonize it. And there are a lot of issues with hip hop, we know. There are a lot of things gotta change. But we need to take back the control of hip hop. Because the negative stuff we've seen out of hip hop is not controlled. It's controlled by the powers that be. You know what I'm saying? But back to the situation at hand, man, we're dealing with a systematic oppression to our people. And all of us got to wake up. You know, we gotta start having our own schools, our own dollars, our own banks. We gotta get back to that, man. We gotta get back to being a group and understanding. Group effort, economics, you know. Get back to family, man, because right now we're too separated, but we, we starting to come together. We starting to come together. People starting to wake up. I still, I still believe in my people, man. We gotta get out here and, and fight, man. Not just tear stuff up, but really, really, really fight. I mean, fight with our dollar, fight with our experiences pull all our expertise together to do this thing, man. So, y'all stay woke, man.